Hello and welcome to Wilcom's video short series for Embroidery Studio E4.0. Today I'm just going to show you how to edit a design uh, after importing it in uh, through Embroidery Studio editing package. I'm going to start by bringing in my, my design. I'll go to File. I'm going to import the embroidery. Choose my DST file. If your file is not DST, you can always click the bottom of the arrow here for the where the file name is and you can choose the correct uh, machine format that you're using. Today we're using DST, so I'm going to just double click it here to open it up on a screen. And as I'm zooming into this actually, I see a problem already from the uh, design. Uh, somehow the fill actually shifted uh, is what it did and so with this stitch file, uh, machine file, um, the everything basically is separated once it's saved to a machine format. Uh, like for instance if I were to click on uh, the cell here, I can move the cell out or the underlay stitch here. And so when you convert those to machine files, uh, everything does separate because now it's just a basic standard uh, generic machine format basically. Okay, so I'm going to undo this to move this back. Uh, that fill appears as though it's in the right location. I'm going to press T to take off the true view so I can see. So it looks like the underlay stitch is in the correct location. I'll press T again to show the uh, true view. And all I'm going to have to do in this particular situation here is just select the sail. I can press H for reshape tool. And what that's going to do is allow me to see my node points for this. And luckily I can go in and just move the lines here. To save this okay and again this is the difference between uh, the editing package and the lettering package uh, because sometimes when you do bring these files in uh, some of them they may need modifying in some way and having the editing package will basically give you that uh, ability to do that and so now once I've modified that all I can do now is go in and type in create text screen with this and I can change the color here if I need to increase it I can increase it by selecting it and pressing my shift key down and pulling it out in proportion this particular way here so again any modifications that I need to go in and change for this actually I can go in and do this uh, for this design with the editing uh, capability and it's a great tool because sometimes you never know uh, when you click on an object and it's not in the right location or something like that or you need to go in and space out the um, top stitches here on the satin fill here if I need to go in and select it and press H if I needed to go in and move those I do have the ability to go in and I can click one node point. I'm going to press S to hide the stitches. So if I click one node point, it turns blue. If I press my shift key and hold it down, if I click this one, it'll select all the node points in between. And I can just grab, move those if I need to, or I can press my space bar to toggle those points from a curve to a line like this. Okay, again, to toggle those, from a line to a curve point, you can click on the no point and press your space bar. It will toggle back and forth. Okay, I'm going to press S to turn the stitches back on. Press my escape. Press my zero key for my full view. If I want to see it one to one, I can press the number one key like this. Okay. Once I'm done and I'm ready to save that out, I'll go to design, remove sm small stitches, run it through this filter, click OK. It removes any unnecessary stitches and my design is now ready uh, to be saved to my USB stick or sent out to my machine. I want to thank you so much for your time. As always, we ask that you join us at www.willcomamerica.com. Thank you.